Nde wo gyo nyama nege nti mane kire kire. Onye gine ya nakwa tabu 042 Solex. Onye akiko wa. Ngwa gere akiko nka eji geta. Otu mwoke onye mba Britain. Eti elan puno kolu weti kuo eze wanyi na achi mba Britain. Nka akboro Queen Elizabeth. Ya nandini ile na achi achi na mba Britain. Ya bu mwoke merenka mwe. Ndi otu nke na achi mwe ron mwe biafra. Bundi nke bina mba Britain potara ime ngari we. Ogara niru, niju, eze wanyi nke Britain. Yana ndini ile na achi achi na government nke Britain siha. Obu gini bu isi nkiti nkunu bara. Nisi mwafo Britain. Bo maze na mdekano. Bo nyeji akukikikere mba Britain. Maburu kwa onyisi otuna chongwero nwe Biafra. Nkaporo indigenous people of Biafra. IPOB na hankenke. Bo nyenke government Nigeria gara mba Kenya. We burunike we laba mba Nigeria. Ogara niru wejo ha obununu amata ye na onye kwesiribu onye si ala nke obodo Nigeria bu onya mamadika president Muhammad Buhari aburula onye nwura anwu na London kembe afo 2017 asila na sole exesi kama lero onyo nyo ya the MP Haria Harman has she not been here to discuss anything? no she hasn't she hasn't said a word her own constituents have written to her. She doesn't say anything. So what is going on? What is going on? Why has nobody from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office mentioned Mazin Amnikanu? How can you have a British citizen traveling on a British passport kidnapped in Kenya? on June the 19th. He was tortured for eight days before being extraordinary rendition back to Nigeria. Why was he extraordinary rendition back to Nigeria? When he's a British citizen. Has nobody behind these windows asked that question? How can you all remain silent? How can you all pretend that you can't see anything going on? It's all over social media. Catriona Lang, the High Commissioner for the UK in Abuja, has done nothing. She gets tagged in every single tweet that tweets about Mazin Amnikanu and extraordinary rendition. She doesn't reply to anybody. You ask a question, she blocks you. Is that really? someone in her position is that really something she could be doing she's done nothing at all she's a representative of the uk in nigeria she represents british citizens in nigeria why has she not represented mazin amnikanu why is the total silence you've got another protest next to us here a lady called nazini Nobody's helping her either. She's a British citizen. What is going on in this country? The 67 to 70 Biafra war. It wasn't a war. It was a genocide. And the UK was complicit in genocide. The UK is complicit in genocide now. Today, it's happening again. Yet why do we not hear about it? You go 20 yards away, the BBC cameras are there, the ITV cameras are there. Why does the BBC and ITV not cover Biafra? If what was going on in Nigeria was happening in any other Commonwealth country, it would be all over our news. So why is it not reported? It's not reported because the British government is still looting all the resources in Nigeria. Biafra, on its own, would be a world leader in any way you can think of. One of the richest countries on earth. But the UK can't let that happen. Because if the UK lets that happen, it has to start paying for the resources of which all the oil that it gets now is given free. How can you put oil above thousands and thousands of people's lives? 
slaughtered on a daily basis. Catriona Lang, who works for this office, is fully aware of it. What's her response? Her response is to go on Twitter and start dancing with the Fulani terrorists who are committing these atrocities. How is that right? Ask yourself a question. How can we stay silent when this is happening? You can turn a blind eye. You can remain silent. You can do nothing at, at all. But don't ever turn around and say you didn't know what was going on because you know exactly what's going on and you're doing nothing about it. It is absolutely shameful. Boris Johnson, what's he doing? He's doing nothing. Buhari is dead. Buhari died in London in February 2017. That's right. He died in London in 2017. So why do you still put this charade out that Buhari's coming to London? Buhari's coming for medical treatment. The man died in 2017. Yes. And when that comes out, <laughs> seriously, the UK will look the biggest fools on earth. The death certificate's there. It's all written. That's right. There's proof he died right. in London. He's buried in Saudi Arabia, and yet you keep that quiet as well. How can you keep quiet that a president of a country died four years ago, and you're still portraying him coming here for hospital treatment? Is that not a farce? It's a total cover-up. A total corrupt cover-up by a totally corrupt government. But when Biafra comes, then we will see who laughs, because it won't be the UK. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra!